Hey, hey. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Welcome. If this is your first time visiting me, I am Amber. I am a seventh year teacher, secondary teacher, seventh year secondary teacher. Uh, this is my second year in high school. The previous five years were spent in middle school English and we are preparing to go back to school. Now, technically, y'all, I don't go back to school for another three weeks. <laughs> Yay me. And uh, but I'm still preparing myself now because I want this to be a smooth year. I have my task card beans that are already done. I'll share more about that at another time. And then I have a few items that are new to my collection that I want to share with y'all. The first being this little olive tree. Okay, so this is my new little olive tree. My mom actually got it for herself. It was 50% off when she got it. Um, So she only paid $28 for it. And she was going to take it back to school because she didn't know what to do with it. I'm um, sorry, back to Target. So I bought it from her and I'm going to take this with me to school. This is my little olive tree and I'm excited about it. Hey, tree. Those are my task card bins. Like I said, I'll share that with y'all later all right well since we're here then i also picked up this painting from a black artist i'll make sure to post the link in the description box down below because i know they sell it online and it has this kind of multicultural vibe going on in my room it's going to be travel themed this year so i figured that i would put this on my back center wall and just kind of build around it and i'm excited about it like i already have a vision for what i have in mind for this you not subscribe go ahead and subscribe what you waiting for i mean i mean just go ahead and do it you won't regret it we have a good time over here all right let me get you set up on a tripod all right y'all i get long-winded so <laughs> i'm gonna try to get through this pretty quickly but i'll start with the largest items which are these two bins here so i'm going to be doing an airport store or some kind of like boutique i haven't decided yet and so i needed these bins i'm always needing storage i've given away a lot of my storage bins but there are some that i have around here that i'm going to take to school and then these as well and then i'm going to also try to look for some clear plastic bins um in addition to these i saw some more that were white i didn't want white bands i either want black or clear um the only exception would be the pink bands that i already have because i already have a full set of them so i'll take those with me and they will be in my cabinet along with these that will also be in my cabinet and then i got an i am feeling sign and it's important to know even at the high school level like students need to be in tune with their emotions they need to understand like how they're feeling and they even try to get to a point where they try to understand why they're feeling how they're feeling and so um, i have a little cute i am feeling sign and i'm gonna put this in my library slash calm down corner or somewhere in my room where it can easily be visible and there's another one that my mom got where some of the strategies that they can do if they're feeling overwhelmed stressed whatever the case may be some coping skills i also have some things on teachers pay teachers in my wish list that i also want to include in my classroom because it's just really important to practice mindfulness to practice box breathing that's one of the techniques that's one there and it's just really important to be grounded and in tune with your emotions um i am bonded in trauma with this next class that is coming to me i taught them in eighth grade and i'm going to be teaching them again in 10th grade and we had a challenging year together y'all um but they're my favorite because we have been bonded in trauma we all had to endure um a very frightening school experience that no school should ever have to deal with and so for me a lot of times sometimes just being with them is very triggering for me um so it's just important to make sure that i'm grounded as well and that i'm setting an example for them um so that they can know when they're feeling stressed when they're feeling overwhelmed when they're not feeling the best there are skills to help you cope I also got myself and myself exclusively some big mechanical pencils, dark writing, extra smooth, number two, 40 count pencils. These were on sale for $6. I, like I said, I'll leave the links to all of this stuff if I can below. I'm not sure if they'll have links for these bins, but I'll definitely look it up. The sign, probably not. Uh, just simply because they were in the bullseye playground. And typically some of that stuff don't usually pop up online, but I can pull up my receipt and get the links if possible. Anyway, I have these pastel colored pencils for me because i keep a little pencil pen highlighters and permanent markers on my desk and my goal this year because 
some students would start like taking pencils out of my cup and I would leave my stuff there with the guest teacher and stuff would come up missing. And I just, I really don't like it. I like the aesthetic of it being on my desk, but I don't like people helping to themselves to my stuff, especially considering throughout the entire year, I put out loads and loads of mechanical pencils for my students to be able to use. So to be able to differentiate, I have these pastels. So the ones that were previously in my cup will be put out as community property. Students can take a pencil whenever they need it. They don't have to ask me for it. I also think that I'm gonna start transitioning them to using pen when they're turning in work to me. So if it's practice work or things that you're doing on your own, you're welcome to use pencil. But if it's something that's coming to me, like the teachers before me have done, like I have been ingrained as a student, students need to learn how to write in pen. They're trying to sign documents and forms in pencil. It's unacceptable. So black or blue ink, okay? And these are for me. I also got myself some index cards and I got the bigger size than usual just simply because I write big and I want to get a grasp of how many index cards my students are going to need so I can know if I need to ask them to purchase their own or if I'm willing to provide these for them. So I'm still going to add index cards to my Donuts Choose project. I've had index cards out the wazoo and I give them away every year, but this year I want my students to have testing language index cards and we're going to hole punch them, put them on the binder clip and just something that they can have and be familiar with testing language, not just for a star, but for AP, SAT, all of these things that they're going to continue to take for the rest of their high school career. Let me, let me figure this out y'all. All right. We're going to have to make it do. Um, anyway, so I'm going to create my own first so I can know how many they're going to need, what skills I would like to prioritize. I already created a list just based on their first unit exam. When they post more information, I don't know what task cards I want my students to have. So index cards. So that's that. We're going to create a cluster of testing language index cards. Now, I have some Be Rooted and I searched the store looking for this Be Rooted specifically. <laughs> so I have some a set of pens and let me go ahead and take them out so y'all can see and they are affirmations there is another set that's pink and yellow but that was a little too bright for my aesthetic and it just simply says i am enough i am capable i am worthy and i am confident and i am here for the affirmations i love it they're soft touch apparently they're right really good i am a pen junkie y'all i'm a pen collector <laughs> so I'm very particular about my pens. I collect pens from everywhere I go. It just, it's just me. I'm a pen lady. Then I also got some garland backdrop of these monstera leaves, I believe is what they are. I am going to be going for, I might be having a luau this year. I'm gonna be doing various classroom transformations. And so I'm trying to start collecting things now that are pretty inexpensive. I paid $3 for this. Um, that are pretty inexpensive so that when I have these classroom transformations, I'm not one scrambling to try to get things last minute, but also that it's not breaking the bank. It's not breaking my pocket. So stuff like this is definitely going to be helpful for like the luau, beachy type vibe that I'm going to be going for at some point. And this will also be good because I'm going to be doing my black, uh, my back blue wall, <laughs> my back blue wall with uh, more of a brighter tropical italian mexican caribbean like all of these type vibes that's going to be you know on my back wall it's hard to explain i have a vision in my mind and they're going to be distinctively separate areas but this is going to come in handy and i might go back and get another one um then at the dollar store really random i just got some more big pencils i don't even know why <laughs> i don't even write with pencils um, and then I got some more cute zebra pencils. And again, they just look cute to me. So I'll probably put these in my little teacher jar and call it a day. And then I got some Sharpies at the Dollar Tree. I thought these were colors that I probably didn't have. Y'all, I'm collecting Sharpies. <laughs> Don't judge me, but I have a pretty good extensive collection going on. Um, I have maybe over 50 different colors. I might be exaggerating, but it's definitely more than 30. So somewhere between 30 and 50. And so I'm adding three more, even though I'm pretty sure I do have this color already. I'm just not sure. Um, then I got, speaking of Sharpie, some more highlighters. I love highlighters, y'all. And some of these colors are different and going to be new to my collection. Like this, um, these shades of blue. Well, these two shades of blue 
are new um, are going to be new to my collection this little lime green type color this golden color this coral color like i'm so excited. i love highlighters y'all now if i don't do nothing else i'm gonna use a pen and i'm gonna use a highlighter okay period so i'm excited about those and then i got myself some pastel sticky notes and I'm going to get myself some more. I think I'm going to keep my teacher supplies as pastel colors. And then I'm going to use things that is going to be used for community property, such as the drawer of sticky notes I already have, the sticky notes that I'm going to ask students to bring for themselves. I'm going to use, leave those in like the brighter colors and leave my stuff as pastel so that there's just no confusion about whose is whose. And I don't have to act a fool behind people using my stuff because I take that very seriously. I provide whatever my students need. I have notebooks i have sticky notes i have pens i have pencils i give freely i don't put a limit on it i don't make my students give up props or anything else to get these supplies so the least they can do if i'm supplying their supplies for them the least they can do is respect my stuff and not touch it so i'm big on i'm big on that <laughs> a lot of stuff i let go but that ain't one of them um and then i got one of these little clear paper trays and i have these in black and pink and i believe i gave my boyfriend my black ones or one of my black ones i'm not sure i couldn't remember i genuinely couldn't remember but i do know i have a pink one and i don't really want to use the pink one i would prefer again black and clear um just as accents for me so i'm gonna use this for turn-in work so anything that students are gonna have to do on paper like homework i'm gonna make completely on paper just simply because it's too much to try to get my students to do things online the only exception is if they have to like finish an essay or whatever the case may be but this is gonna be a paper tray for me to collect their work okay no need to try to fit that in there all right next i got a be rooted binder and this is going to be my lesson planning binder so it has this sister on the front she looks cute it's all black blue on the inside it does not have pockets which i don't think i noticed when i bought it gold trimming but like i said this is only going to be for like my lesson planning my exemplars things that i am going to need um when teachers my evaluators my deans which is what we call our evaluators my dean my principal the ceo has even come to my class a couple of times so i just like to have these things prepared in case anybody asks me and i try to keep it visible so that they don't have to interrupt me while i'm teaching um that's one thing i do appreciate not being interrupted in the middle of me giving you know a lecture or setting my students up for whatever it is they're doing i don't care who you are please don't interrupt me while i'm talking uh, while i'm teaching other than that, like if there's a downtime and I've already set my students up and you have something you need to ask me, like I am happy to answer any questions you have. I'm happy to provide any documentation for anything that's being done. Just don't like to be interrupted. And then I have this little notebook that I am going to use for myself throughout the year. This is where I'm going to focus on keeping my annotations, modeling, definitions, criteria for success, things like that, that I want my students to use in their notebooks for. I am going to be using my notebook for. And then also at the Dollar, Tro uh, Dollar Tree, lastly, I got two folders. So we have Ariel, Tiana, Belle, all on the front just has disney princess on the back and it is hole punch but it has pockets and so i'm thinking that this is going to be likely used for my data binder um that way it will live within my lesson planning binder the data will be in real time i hole punch everything anyway so it won't be a problem to keep my stuff in this folder uh, but that'll just make life a little bit easier for me and then i have a second one shell phones moana and ariel again just disney princess on the back hole punch with pockets on the inside so one of them is going to be used for data but the other one is going to be used for i don't know probably spare notes annotations copies to make i don't know but we'll figure it out um so that's all i got thus far my little olive tree i'm excited about um and then i got a coloring book and some crayons but that has nothing to do with school so i'm gonna just leave y'all out of it uh, but that's what I have as of now. I'm really trying my best to not spend too much money on any decorations or anything like that. So I'm going to buy like the um, some of my stuff from Teachers Pay Teachers just for decorative organization purposes as far as like bulletin board, paper. I'm going to get the smaller rolls this year. I already have like the ginormous rolls of everything. And I don't need that. I'm trying to figure out if I want to make my front wall like my accent wall where I use the better than border 
are better than you know bulletin board paper across my front and just simply because it's half of it is taken up with the whiteboard i won't need like a whole whole lot of it maybe five six rolls i haven't decided just yet but i'll figure it out closer to time i know our fire marshals are hella strict uh, at our school but my saving grace is the better than bullets and paper and they have that as a caveat is a fire is fire retardant um so it's fire resistant and I know that's what they look for. Like you have to have a certain amount of wall space available. You can't have a lot of paper. And I'm also going to get some fire retardant spray because I do want to put tapestries in my classroom this year. I'm going to spray my rugs with um, the fire retardant as well as the Scotch Guard. Just so I'm not having to do too much with my rugs. So I am going to do that. I already have a rug. I'm looking for another one that I can put in my classroom library area. Just something more neutral. I was going to put my um magic carpet back there but that's not really going with the vibe of my classroom that i'm going for and i do want something more neutral so that i can use it from year to year that aladdin carpet <laughs> though it is great it, it does not match most of my aesthetics which is why it wasn't in my classroom last year or even the year before it's just been sitting in storage and that's not helpful to anybody so I'm looking for rugs and um, I'm going to get some more bulletin board paper. I need to go through what bulletin um, borders I already have because I don't think I'm going to order any more, at least not until I get into my classroom because I have enough variety, I believe, that matches my color schemes and things of that nature that I'm not going to have to go out and buy more bulletin border. Maybe I need to get just like plain black border, but other than that, I think I'm good to go. So I'll make sure to order that black bulletin border before I get to school so I can know all of these things but I don't know how much free time we're gonna get last year they didn't give us like no free time at all we had maybe like one and a half hours in our classroom last year and between helping my boyfriend and trying to get his help and we were just getting annoyed because we're sitting in PD all day there's not a love enough time to internalize we get a 30 minute lunch like by the time it's time for you to get to your classroom you don't want to do nothing because your brain is just overwhelmed so hopefully it's better this year but anyway i'm rambling so that's all i got for now like i said at another time i'll show you more about the task card beans and um anything else that i get for the classroom but that's pretty much just all i have for now so check y'all later <laughs>